The typical first reaction to the ripcord swing trainer for baseball and softball is, hey, that looks simple and easy. But after using it, the reaction quickly changes to, wow, this device is a lot harder than it looks. The components, two 10-foot bungee cords and a ball trolley are simple enough. You can carry the entire unit with one hand, and for setup, all you need is an open space and somewhere to anchor the ends of the cords. The bungees adjust to fit an opening from anywhere from about 7 feet to 16 feet, such as fences, gate openings, backstops, batting cages, or the track rails of a garage door. Attach the cords, one above the other, narrow at one end and wider at the other end, and you're ready to hit. Set up on the ball at the narrow end of the cords, swing the bat between the cords, and drive the trolley towards the opposite end. And if you make a good swing, the trolley shoots forward and returns. You don't need a batting tee, a bucket of balls, or a catch net or a pitcher. And you don't have to waste time chasing down and picking up balls. Easy peasy, right? Well, not exactly. The trolley will only shoot along the cords if you hit the ball squarely, and that requires a number of swing skills. One, a proper swing plane with a bat path at contact is level, or slightly upward or downward depending on how you choose to orient the cords. Two, a swing that includes a rotation of the hips and torso. Three, square ball contact hitting skills. Top hand down, bottom hand up at impact, with the bat head at 90 degrees to the ball flight. Four, learning to hit the ball at the proper location relative to the stride foot. And last, rip courts force you to focus on the center of the ball, line drive type of hitting.